want to hit you, Bill. What what meme coins are you looking at? Um, and you know, what is kind of like your method about about when you look at these meme coins, how to how to deal with them? Okay, that's a good question. So, <clears throat> you know, let let's start with I don't know. I guess you can call this plain Jane at this point, Peppy, right? So. <clears throat> When you analyze any of these like mega small altcoins, what you want to see is after the first rally, you don't want to see something like spike up, come down, spike up, come down. I call that the like the double spike, and that's not good. So when you had Pepe, Pepe did, and I'm sure this will make you happy. This is what Bambi is doing right now, right? It goes up and then it makes kind of a square consolidation pattern. Okay, that's usually the sign of like a, a two wave in a way, right? Let's get it. Then what you want to see is after it moonshots, right? So this is like a five wave, which is emotional, the Binance listing, et cetera. You know, you're coming back down and you're hitting the 62% retracement and the prior high around 1607, just reading the last digits. 1842 is 62%. Now it's this simple, right? Any crypto. I learned this from Oh Hey Maddie at the start of the 2020 bull market. If you have a coin and it goes up and then it comes back down and holds the 62% retracement, the coin is good. If it breaks the 62% retracement, it may not be. Now, personally, I am, <clears throat> I wish you all the best in, in Bambi. I hope Pepe holds 1842. I'm assuming you're going to see dip buyers down here, even though I think the larger crypto market could get wrecked here for reasons we discussed. In meme coins, you want to see up and square, right? And then you want to see it hold 62% on the way down, right? Buying dips is are, are great, uh, <clears throat> but not in casino stocks, like casino coins right? It's a momentum game. That said, memes can be worth a lot of money. They can be.